Welcome. Hey, everybody, welcome. Let's stand up and get ready to worship God today. It's good to see you. Let me talk. Yes. Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Perry. I'm one of the pastors here. If you're in the room, come on in and have a seat. If you're out in the foyer, it's time to come in. If you're online, thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning for worship. So, if you need to, I need you to sit down for a moment. So, I got something to say. So, in the name of the Lord, bless your heart. Be quiet. Sit down. Come on in. Have a seat. We're about to get started online. Be patient with us. It's a holiday weekend. We are honoring those who served our country and given their lives and sacrificed Memorial Days tomorrow. It's also Pentecost Sunday. It's the Sunday 50 days after resurrection when the Spirit of God was poured out on us. And I just want to remind you of something this morning. Here's the reminder. There was a father who had a conversation with an angry son. It's from Jesus' story of the prodigal son. You remember that story? And when the, uh, when the guy came in from the field doing his work, he found out there was a party for his brother who'd run off and wasted a lot of money. And he got very angry, and he wouldn't go into the party. And the dad came out from the party and said, son, what's up? Well, you never sacrificed a goat for me. You never gave me a party, and I've served you all these years. And this kid of mine, your, my brother, goes off and wastes money on whores, and you're giving him a party. And the father said the most amazing thing that applies to you and me today. The father said, son, everything I have is yours. But we have to celebrate. It says that in the story. We must celebrate. And the reason we must celebrate is he was dead and now he's alive. He was gone and now he's found. We have to celebrate. And of all the people in all the world, in all of history, we have the most to celebrate about because Jesus was dead and now he's alive. And you and I were lost and now we're found. And so this morning, it is required. It is not optional. It is mandatory that we celebrate the resurrection and the life of Jesus Christ. So look in your heart. Get the little monitor there. Get it off of sad. Get it off of... Uh, get it off a bad week. It doesn't matter. What matters is that Jesus Christ is alive and we must celebrate. Put your heart on praise, on worship, on gratitude. Are you ready? You ready online? I want you to make a party right there in your living room. If you're in a business office, it's time to celebrate. So if you're in the room, if you're somewhere, stand up and let's begin there. We want you to worship freely as Kevin and our crack worship team lead us and that's a good word that's a good word crack it means awesome it means wonderful special it horses. means top drawer okay if we if 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 we were a tequila we'd be top drawer and so we're going to worship feel free to dance to sing to celebrate over here are the easels to worship with art if god puts a picture in your heart come paint it you can do this it's easily done <laughs> So, if your heart's on celebrate, let's go there. Jesus, you're the Lord. You're the coming one. All glory, all honor, all praise belong to you. And so, we have a gift for you this morning as we celebrate your life together. In Jesus' name, amen. to work with some audio issues. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> it's a, uh, I think it's a PEBCAC issue. You know what PEBCAC is? PEBCAC stands for when a, someone has a computer trouble and there's a problem exists between keyboard and chair. That's me, so. <laughs> it's PEBCAC. Yeah, hey, I hear everything now. That's good. All right, let's get ready to worship. 
Amen. We can overcome because God has already overcome for us. Now the darkness fades into new beginnings. As we lift our eyes to the hope beyond. Our creation waits with an expectation to declare the reign of the Lord. an empty grave for the reason the world is overcome now the silent grave in the name of Jesus as in every cry let the earth respond our creation shines with the voice of triumph to declare the reign of the Lord In the earth can wait For the reason why is overcome And for every tear There's an empty grave For the reason why is overcome Oh, he's overcome This is a blessed shout of praise to our Lord Yeah He shall reign, he shall reign forever, stronghold, now surrender, for the Lord our God has overcome. Who can be against us, Jesus, our defender, he is Lord, and he has overcome. He who overcame. This was a time nearly 2,000 years ago when in that upper room the disciples were faithfully waiting. And sure enough, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And when he came, he brought power and strength. He launched the church Signs and wonders from above When you poured out your spirit On the old and the young In the power of your presence Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, rain, fall 
Him like a flood. Break up all my praise as we sing of Your love. Holy Spirit, fire burn within my soul as we call on Your name. As we call on Your name.
break up all my praise as I sing of your love. Holy Spirit, fire, burn within my soul as we call on your name. As I call on your name. As I call As I call on your name, Jesus, 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 as I call on your name. such great mercy you have that when Jesus said he would send a helper, Lord, you did. You send us a helper, a mediator, God. And on that day, it said, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house they were sitting in. And then there appeared to them divided tongues as a fire and sat on each one of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So let's just praise God. We praise you God. Praise you Lord for what you have done and we're going to praise you today with all our hearts God. So let's praise you. Praise the Lord, His mercy is more, stronger than darkness, and new every more, our sins they are many, His mercy What love could remember No wrongs we have done Omniscient all knowing Counts not their sum Thrown into the sea Without bottom or shore Our sins they are many His mercy is more Praise the Lord, His mercy is more, stronger than darkness, new evermore, our sins they are many, His mercy is more. Patience would wait as we constantly roam. What father so tender, he's calling us home. He comes through the weakness, the violence, the poor. Since they are many, his mercy is Praise the Lord. His mercy is more, stronger than darkness, new and more. Our sins they are many. His mercy is more. Oh, your mercy, God. 
What riches of kindness he lavished on us. His blood was the payment, his life was the cost. We stood neath the death we could never afford. Our sins, they are many, his mercy is so much more. Praise the Lord, his mercy is more. mighty God. Let's not forget the power that the Holy Spirit brought. Let's not forget what Jesus can do in our lives. If you're struggling right now, I want you to think about it. And I want you to speak Jesus over your life in this song. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life Break
Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Jesus. right now you know what's going on in your family let's break that chain let's break that chain you know what's going on in that job let's break it today in Jesus name seems like it's not going to happen. Jesus showed us that even when it's dark, he brings the light. There was a moment when the light went out When death had claimed its victory Yes The king of love had given of his life the darkest day in history There on the cross they made for sinners Yes For every curse of blood atoned Yes One final breath and it was finished But no But not the way we could have known the earth began to shake 
and the veil is torn. What sacrifice was made as the heavens roll? Yes! All hail King There was a moment when a flash of light was breaking through. When all was lost, when all was lost across eternity, oh, the King of Love was on the moon, yeah. For when the God called to
simple things that represent, that symbolize this, the mighty sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Here at our church, we, we celebrate open communion for believers. So if you're a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ, you're welcome to come. Kiddos, this is a good time to be obedient, to do what mom and dad say. And so as Casey and I are here, why don't you come on up as you wish and come get your elements. We'll take them all together in just a moment. So come. asked Pastor Perry if I could share something real quickly that the Lord spoke to me. 
Pastor Perry started off our service with a reminder about the prodigal son. And it wasn't so much the prodigal son, it was the son that was the heir who, the brother who came and said, but what about me? And the father said, but don't you realize you have all things? And it struck me that as we were worshiping, that both of the sons had issues and their issues were their perspective. The prodigal son, his perspective was he wanted everything now and he wanted it on his own terms. So I would say that the prodigal son who ran off with, the, with his inheritance wanted to live a life of unrighteousness. But the son that remained, the older brother, he had an incorrect perspective as well because he was dealing with self-righteousness. And both of those things are equally destructive to a person's life. I always laugh and said when, when we were younger, Alan came out of a life of unrighteousness and I came out of a life of self-righteousness. And both of us needed deliverance and healing and repentance. So this morning, you know the enemy, what he wants to do is he wants you to keep your perspective turned this way. He wants you to look at your life and what you do not have or what is wrong or what you're going through or what you're suffering. But Jesus reconnected us with the Father and the Father wants us to have his perspective and as we take the elements, as we take the body and the blood this morning, what are we doing? We're receiving him. So this morning, Lord, we say we receive your perspective as we receive your body and your blood. Amen. Thank you, Gail. Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. And every curse for every one of us was removed by the body, by the blood of Jesus. He said, remember. So we do this with him at the tip of our tongue, at the front of our brain. Thank you, Jesus. Take it. Peter reminded us we've been redeemed not with gold or silver but with the precious blood of the Lamb without sin. I am unashamed. I have no shame. I've done shameful things. I've been a shameful person but no more. No more. In me because I am in Christ there is no condemnation. There is no shame because of his blood. Take and drink. We are filled with the presence and the power of the Lord Jesus. And so let me invite you now to stand up and look around and greet people. Say hello. Holy hugs are okay. Handing out $20 bills is acceptable. Just... Stand up and say hi and greet each other.
All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would you go ahead and, and uh, find a seat? Let's see, Billy, let me ask you to bring me one of the little yellow sheets. Bring me a little yellow sheet. So again, my name is Perry. I'm one of the pastors here. You, you need one of these. I'm not going to read stuff to you. I'm not going to. You, you can read. You're literate. Everything you need to know about this church is in here. When we meet, where we meet, what time we start. Just a friendly reminder: we start at 10:30, not at 10:45. Just, just want you to know that. Thank you. Two of them. All right. If you're new here, we got a yellow sheet for you back on that table for prayer requests or information. So. If you've got anything the prayer people in this congregation could pray about, would you fill out one of these, either leave it on the chair and we'll pick it up or put it in the offering boxes back there, and we will take care of that. Thank you. It's an honor to pray for others, and we love to do that here. So if you would take care of that and read this, I would appreciate that. Um, Casey and I are just back from a week of vacation in D.C., and last Sunday... Kevin King just pulled the boat all by himself. He led worship. He preached. I'm so grateful for Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, for your service. Calvin and Megan and Casey and I were all were gone. We're out of town, and he just took care of things with Tim and the other volunteers. It is such a privilege to be a pastor who can leave and just relax and know that things are going usually better than when I'm here. So... I'm so grateful for who you are and what God's doing in us and through us. And Casey and I have stories to tell about D.C., and we'll, we'll get to that eventually. But I have a present for everybody this morning. This is my present to you. Have you seen these guys? This is uh, some sort of expensive water bottle. If you go to Kmart or Walmart or don't go to Target, but if you go to Walmart and you bought one of these, it, it'd be 20 25 bucks easy. And because I work at a school, a Christian school, I said to the middle schoolers, they had like 40 of them out on the table. I said, what are you going to do with those? And they said, we're going to give them away. I said, give them to me. So I have about 75 of these bottles. These are expensive bottles that uh, entitled middle school kids just left at home. And I know there's moms and dads going, where is that bottle? I don't know. I don't know. So this is my present to you. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go back to that table on your way out and pick out your favorite and take it home. And then I want you to wash it in very hot water. <laughs> I want you to get all the middle school off of it, okay? And then I want you to fill it up with cool water and then lay your hands on it and pray for it. And then as you go up to one of those intersections with somebody with a sign, hand them one of these in Jesus' name. Give them a gift of water that's been blessed by a spirit-filled person, and we will use what middle school will cast off as a blessing to others. Okay, so you don't have to give money. Just give them a $30 bottle full of good water. So that's, that's there. It's waiting for it now. P.S. Hot water. Wash it. Cleanse it first. Okay? Whew. <sighs> so all summer long, we're going to do a couple of things. One is we're going to grill and grow on Tuesday nights. I would like to teach you to study the Bible for yourself. You can do this. It's a simple thing. It's called hermeneutics, and every pastor has been trained in how to do this. And our job is not to keep it from you. Our job is to equip you. And so if you've ever wondered, how do I get the Bible to understand it myself? Very simple process all Tuesday nights this summer me and my staff are going to teach you how to study the Bible for yourself. And so we're going to grill too. We'll eat, we'll eat because we love to do that. Billy Moses came up with that idea. Thank you, Billy. We're going to start that. Um, and then we're going to have a testimonies all summer long. So the preacher has agreed to preach shorter so that testimonies can be a little longer. Usually I say, hey, three minutes, buddy. Or five minutes and we pull out the hook. Well, now we're going to loosen that a little because we want to hear your story. We want to hear the stories of God's grace and mercy in every one of us because we all have a magnificent story. And some of the stories that, that I know, I want you to hear because God is so good and his mercy is awesome. 
Okay, so this morning I got up and I went, oh, no, I'm not ready to preach. And then I said, oh, that's okay. Alan's here. I don't have to be ready to preach. So Alan and Gail Hawkins are here, uh, church planters from, from long ago, former pastor of uh, New Life City, and they're just traveling ambassadors in the gospel now. And they're going to come and preach to us this morning. But I